entanglements of space and time are one characteristic uh, of universities. And another one is that the national and the international also um, um, constitute a complex interrelationship network. And this is especially true when it comes to teaching. And I think that the national is not simply kind of inside and the international and not merely outside. Internationalization will not be a separate way for approaching universities in the near future. From this new European way of having universities or designing or shaping universities, just reflecting on the transformative way, which includes uh, innovative uh, uh, pedagogies and uh, new highly motivational learning experiences for our students. They have changed their personal profiles in this uh, period of uh, pandemic situation, and we should adapt our experiences, as uh, Karin was uh, telling us, to rethink teaching, adapted being adapted to what's happening in this moment, moment through flexibilities, embedded diverse mobilities. What is our future role, role when it comes to connecting uh, country and the rest of the world and also maybe how, how uh, do we make sure that connecting is mm -hmm. to Europe is also not leaving out the rest of the world. If we look at the Bologna process in the future and everything connected to teaching and learning, we must always do that before the background um, of how the international research landscape will change in the future years. And then we can maybe adopt the Bologna process also to issues you raised, Jan, about how to shape it in a way that helps all the regions in, in Europe the, the best way. In internationalization, what we need to make sure is that it is as inclusive as possible. Inclusive geographically to avoid the brain drain and ensure brain circulation. And that is really a, a big issue.